Hi, I'm Tracy from Do Yoga With Me. And this is a practice that looks a little more closely at foundation. It gives us a hug and a draw to the midline, how we can speak to our core, the essence, safely move through our feet, our hands, inside postures, and throughout vinyasas. Have some fun with it. Welcome. We are going to start in a seated position as I am seated. First of all, I would love to address if this is not the most comfortable position for you to reach for a block or a pillow or a blanket of sorts. And two things you can do is either slide it under your knees to give you a little extra height, or you can lift up and slide it between your heels and have a sit down. However, having said that, if you're reaching for that block or blanket, please grab that. Otherwise, I just want to show you a little bit of a difference we're going to find today. When we bring the feet together and the knees together to start, I love you to lift up, take your hands around your heels and actually draw the heels in almost to a touch point and then have a sit back down. It might not be as comfortable. However, it is so wonderful for us to stretch our feet. So I'm going to welcome you into that position with, of course, a little smile on your face as you find it. And make yourself as comfortable as you can be, just for these first few moments. And for a lot of us, we spend time in shoes. For some of us, we spend time in heels, pointed toe shoes. And yoga is very much about letting ourselves find our foundation, find our roots. And that begins with our feet. And in vinyasa, there's also a lot of energy spent on our hands. So we're going to find that alignment today in our practice and then dig in a little bit more through a few of the postures. So close your eyes for me. Rest your hands softly upon your thighs and pull your elbows gently in. From there, flip your palms open. No mudra, no grasping. And it's really nice to witness that, that we don't need to attach to anything, but yet we can find this sweetness and this availability in our breath and in our feeling body. Take an inhale and take an exhale. And let's do that one more time. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. And then blink your eyes open. Bring your hands a little higher to your ribs here and wrap your fingers forward, your thumbs almost behind you so you can actually begin to feel your ribs come alive. And we're just gonna take three breath cycles here to really open up the side body, the side carrier, if you will, and to notice where the breath is that much more available for us. So you can rest your shoulders and empty your lungs and take a nice sweet inhale until your hands actually expand. And then exhale out through your nose. And again, inhale. And exhale. Amazing. Just one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. Now keep the breath alive. Bring your hands to the center of your heart. Take your arms all the way up. Now lift your ribs as you do so. And exhale, bring your hands forward. Lift yourself off your knees. Walk your knees about an inch back of your hips and spread your fingers for me. So here we are now on hands. Quarter turn your hands open. Feel that. And then just roll from side to side to wake up the wrists. So a lot of times we will get into our hands, forget about the core and put the pressure points on our wrists. So I want you now to remind yourself to just tone your low belly and bring the breath back to the ribs. Slow that movement down ever so gently. And then notice if you can flip your hands, the fingertips now a little bit more in the direction of your knees. If that is unavailable, keep your hands open. If it is available, let's pause here. And then keeping the gesture, draw your heart forward and through. Press the tops of your feet down. 
and exhale, one angry cat, chin into your chest, draw the low belly in and up, and allow the upper ribs to draw in and down. Come forward and through, breath in, strong foundation, and exhale one last time, empty your breath out. Come forward and through, pause, take your time, walk your hands now so that they face forward, and tent up onto your fingertips now. So from the pressure points, we want to hug into the belly. Now, activating energy on the fingertips right away is going to make you hug into the core line a little more. So I want you to stay here, fingertips, and now curl your toes under. Pull your heart forward and through. Inhale, put an imaginary block between your heels. Hug that block. And exhale, curl into an angry cat, pressing the fingertips down. Two more times. Inhale, wave your heart forward, draw in from your low belly. And exhale, curl again. So you need to reference the core support here. One more time. Inhale, heart forward, shoulder side down. And exhale, draw in and draw up. Come forward, your neutral point. Lay your palms softly down to your mat. Take one breath in. And let's float all the way up and back to your first downward facing dog on your breath out. Let's walk it out a little bit. One heel dips down, the opposite knee bends. Shift that, the opposite heel presses down, and the other knee bends. And then come back and lift both your heels, stretch through the tops of the feet, and exhale, allow your heels to descend. Now here, draw your shoulders out of your ears. Tone and lift your biceps a little higher toward the sky, and let your head be soft and heavy. Lift your heels, lower your knees all the way down. Bring your knees to touch, bring your feet to touch. Keep your toes curled under, and guess what? We're going back to have a seat on your heels but this time with the toes curled under. So check in. If you can, lift up, draw your heels in a little closer and have that sit point back down. Take your hands back and tuck the baby toes under if they're not. They want in on the game. And then pause there for me. Root through your tail, lift up through the crown of your head, relax your shoulders. Bring again your hands to reference your ribs. Let the thumbs dial to the back. Let the fingers themselves almost hug the ribs. Close your eyes. And three breath cycles here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Fill your hands. Next breath in. Empty it out. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Make your eyes open, bring your arms all the way up. Now unfazed by the stretch to the feet, I know you're feeling it, bring your hands together at your heart center. And take one breath here. The foundation begins with our feet. Lift up. Inhale, untuck your toes. Oh yeah, have a moment. Reach forward, lay your palms all the way out and in front. Come forward, come through. Inhale, tuck your toes, float yourself up and back. Downward facing dog to exhale. Now this time, lift your heels high. Pivot your heels to your left, please. Bend your knees and tent up onto fingertips of your right hand. Come back up through center. Inhale high, find the center point. Pivot to your right, bend your knees, and come to fingertips of your left hand. Come back up through center. Inhale. And now allow your heels to press firmly down towards your mat with a nice exhale. Flow forward from there. First high plank. Lower your knees. Then your chest and chin all the way down to your mat. Keep your hands under your shoulders. Lift your right leg. Reach it long. Lower the toes down. And lift your left leg. Reach it long. And lower it down. So this is called a shoulder loop. Pull your shoulders up to your ears, like an I don't know moment, and then pull them back and further down. So much more space there now. Inhale, low cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, return down. 
Let's do that two more times. Inhale, rise up. Keep the space and the open quality of your breath. And exhale, return. Third time, inhale, rise up. Continue, push through your knees, tuck your toes, and exhale, downward facing dog pose. Carry one breath in and one breath out. Now let's look toward our hands. Draw your thumbs a little closer toward the center of your mat. Anchor both heels firmly down. Inhale, float your right leg straight up and back. Exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand and lower your left knee to the earth. Hook your thumbs. Inhale, rise up. Now let's stay here. Lean into your right knee. Safe to do so with your back knee down. And yet draw your right hip back. Flare your sit bones, lengthen your tail, and then feel the sides of your body increase in space where your hands were. And then lift your heart a little here. Lift your chin a little here. And then maybe your gaze up. When you've got that lift, try to pull your thumbs open unsuccessfully, but keep the tone of energy very much alive. And then take a breath in. And stay again for the breath out. Soften your shoulders. Gaze returns forward. Fingertips come back inside your right foot. And lift your back knee up. Pull your heart forward and through, inhale. This is like a little dance. The exhale, straighten out both legs and pull the toes of your right foot up. Let's do that again. Inhale, nice and low. Exhale, straighten out the legs. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Come back down nice and low, lay your palms flat. See how quietly you can step back to your downward facing dog. In neutral, draw the breath in, being that of the still point. Exhale to empty it out. Inhale, carry your left leg skyward. Exhale, step your left foot outside of your left hand and allow your back knee to touch down. Hook your thumbs the opposite way and come all the way up again. Pause. A little bit more space through the inner line. We want that. Drop in the sweetness of your left knee. Feel the sides of your body expand rather than contract. And then put the tone of energy between your thumbs. Lift your heart a little higher. Relax your shoulder blades in and down. Take two breaths. Inhale, gaze can float up. Soften your shoulders down with your exhale. One more time. Inhale. Soft and sweet. Exhale. Lower your gaze. Bring your hands inside your left foot. Lift your back knee and stay low. So on the inhale, reach your heart forward and through three times. Soft, easy movement. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Feels good. Exhale. And last time. Inhale. And exhale. Come nice and low. Pause again. Plant your palms. And again, the lift of your hips gives you that much more space, that quiet transition back to your downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to the distance, shoulder width apart. Flow forward, inhale, high plank. With or without your knees, bring yourself gently down to touch your mat. Untuck your toes. If you wish, lift one leg and the other leg. Tent your fingertips this time off your mat. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. And now inhale, rise through your cobra. Exhale, come back down. I call this more of a rolling cobra. So you want to roll yourself up, chest, chin, eyes. And then roll yourself back down. One more time. Roll it open. And exhale, roll it back down. Lay your palms below your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Lift your elbows, press up through your knees and float back to downward facing dog. And from here, walk your thumbs again, a little closer toward each other. Lift your heels high, bend your knees, look toward your hands. Now you can step or hop your feet outside of your hands and then bring your hands to your heart center. Now let's pause. 
Quarter turn of your feet open, a good 45 degree angle. Heel energy dials forward. Hands meet your heart. The block, if you had it earlier, you can slide that back underneath your glutes again. Look and imagine your hands on your ribs. Feel the sensation where the breath can carry you. And then come back where we just were waking up our feet and feel that foundation. Slide your elbows a little deeper inside the edges of your knees. And then tent the fingertips of your right hand off and bring your left arm up toward the sky. We're gonna stay here. So the opening of the twist, push the right arm against the right knee, resist it, and then look up to the hand in the air. One big breath there. Glide both hands back to your heart center. Take your left hand on that diagonal, tense your fingertips, walk it away a little, and peel your right arm all the way up. Push your left arm to your left knee, resist with the knee, carry the left side of your body under, look up to the right. Bring both your hands back to your heart center. Take a breath. Lower your fingertips, float your hips, toe heel your feet, just hip stance and empty out your lungs. Inhale, fingertips to your shins, Ardha Uttanasana, your halfway lift. Exhale, hands onto your hips, firm up your legs, and then inhale, slowly rise all the way up and stand tall for me. Release your hands. Take your breath. Empty your lungs. Bend your knees, tense your fingertips, outside edges of your baby toes. Now stay that low to the ground, Dial your sitting bones back, long tail, and lift your arms up for me. Utkatasana. Now in Utkatasana, can you draw the outer edges of your ribs in? Lift up through Mula Bandha, which is the area of the perineum drawing up. And here's the ribs, Uddiyana Bandha, in and down. So much core. Keep the foundation strong. Lift your biceps up. Relax your shoulders. You got it. Take another breath. Press down, rise up, inhale, close your palms, dive forward, meet your mat, and exhale. Inhale, a halfway lift. Exhale, take your palms flat, step back to a high push-up pose. Take a breath inside, high plank. Stay where you are and exhale. Check in, shoulders above the crease lines of your wrists, cervical spine long, shoulders back and down. Press your heels back. Lift your inner thighs up. Bring on the core. Take a breath here. Steadiness. Knees are always an option. Know that, please. Next inhale. Come further forward to the tips of your toes. Now you choose if you would like to lower halfway down. Elbows are in or all the way. Inhale. Up dog or cobra. Up and over your toes to downward facing dog. Take the breath together. Empty out your lungs. Inhale, float your right leg skyward. This time, step your foot in between your thumbs and keep your back knee lifted. Tense your fingertips and frame up your front foot. Stack your right knee over your inner right ankle and hover your hands away from your mat. That's it, hover. Now in the length of your torso, come back to your breath cycle. Hug your outer hips in, hands are still hovering, and in that action, press down and inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Take the breath, soften into the depth of your right knee, lift your torso. Take one more breath together. Let's bring the palms to meet overhead, bend your elbows, interlace your hands, and open your elbows a little wider this time. Press your head into your hands and lift your heart. Soften your shoulders. One more breath. Bring your gaze forward. Lift your arms up. Bring your hands back down. Tent the fingertips. Step your left heel in at a 45 degree root this time. And on fingertips, draw your right leg towards straight. Pyramid shape. Looking for the draw of your right hip back. Your left heel anchors. Tent up on your fingertips, lengthen your torso, and exhale, fold in. If you'd like to, you can walk your hands in front a little bit, and then allow your head again to relax, soft and heavy. 
the foundation, the baseline, through our feet to our legs to our core. Enjoy one more breath. Empty that. On fingertips, bend your right knee. Lift your back heel. Walk your hands in front. Pull your left leg all the way up and into the air. Offer your heart forward and step your left foot forward, hip stance of your right. Fingertips to your shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take your arms wide. Rise up, lift up, look up, and draw your hands to your heart. Now take the breath, even energy, both feet. From your left foot, lift your right knee up. So moving through foundation, which gives us the premise to build from the foundation up, open the right knee, take your right hand to your ankle, and then you place your foot where you wish it to be for tree pose, for ekstasana, and hug the energy of your foot against your leg. And welcome your hands again to your heart. The breath that can carry you, your arms that can float up, and as your arms float up, take it wide today. Open your arms as big as you can. Pull your shoulders in, down. Collect through the abdominal strength. Lift your heart a little higher. And enjoy one more breath, just like that. Remember the feeling. Bring your hands toward each other, to your chest. Draw your right knee in. This time, step it all the way back. Touch the toes of your right foot back. Lift your arms all the way up. Make the circle, lay your palms flat, and step to your high plank pose to join your toes. So moving to the basis of the hands, walk your left hand below your left shoulder, turn everything to your right, and carry your right arm to the sky. Now the choice here is yours, side plank. Right foot can come in front, anchor that. Right foot can stay on top, anchor that. Or right foot again can float to your tree pose and right arm up. The left hand roots below your left shoulder. Your outer ribs are drawing in, your left foot is active and your gaze is soft and steady. Take one more breath. And then very gently extend your right leg. Lower your right palm. Take a breath together. Lower yourself all the way down and touch your mat. Untuck your toes. Loop your shoulders up, around, back, and down. Pull forward and through, Bhujangasana, your cobra. Press through your knees. This time, knees together, toes together. Slide back to child's. Take an inhale and ragdoll to be seated at the back of your mat. Exhale. Put your arms all the way up. Bring your hands all the way in and a little final stretch for your wrists. Lay your hands down and make some fists here. When you've got the fist, you can lift your hips up. And with the hands pressing into each other, you just want to draw the energy up. So you're going to get a little wrist stretch and a little forearm stretch. You may or may not notice your dominant hand. I sure do. Now, even here, find more of an angry cat sensation with your belly and your chin into your chest. Gentle release. Come back down. Have a seat on your heels. Lift your arms all the way up, come forward, settle to your tabletop shape, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, and exhale your heels toward the mat. One breath in, one breath out. Lift your heels high, bend your knees halfway, step toward the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift and fold in. Arms wide, inhale, rise. And exhale, hands to your heart, eyes to close. One breath together, one empty. Eyes open, arms float, inhale. This time open your arms, lead with your heart, more space now, fold it in. 
Take your halfway lift, long torso. Lay your palms flat, step quietly to your high plank pose. Reference it again. Find the strength, find the stability. Know your knees are always an option to lower. Fingers spread, base of your index finger roots. Shoulders over wrists, heels pressing back. Inner thighs are toned. I can get really, really chatty here, but I won't. But stay here, take a nice inhale. Pull forward to the tips of your toes. You choose, though we're at half or all the way down. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg floats up and back. Exhale, steps forward and through. Pause, come back to your foundation, your base, and stack your left knee over your inner right ankle. Tent your fingertips below your shoulders. And in the length of your torso, let your hands just hover away from the mat. So this speaks to what we need to call on. Where do we call on the strength and stability to stay? Hands are hovering. Gaze is gentle. Breath is fluid. Let your right inner thigh wake up. Press down. Inhale. Crescent lunge. Anjayanasana. The depth of your left knee. The draw of your left hip, the lift of your right inner thigh. Beautiful. Your palms to touch overhead. Bend your elbows. Interlace your hands the opposite way. And then press your head into your hands. Carry the sides of your body open. Lift one more time. Chin, eyes, soft, steady. And then bring your eyes forward. Lift your hands. Plant your fingertips, frame your left foot just while you step your back heel in at that 45 degree root, and then draw your left leg towards straight. Now in that back heel as your plug, even your toes still plugged in, can you walk your hands below your shoulders and inch your way to that halfway lift? Take your breath as your carrier, stretch the sides of your body long, and then exhale, begin to bow forward. Option to walk your hands in front of you. Option to keep them exactly where they are. And carry the breath in. Soften your teeth, your tongue, your eyes, your gaze. And lift your gaze, bend your knee, lift up onto the toes of your back foot. Walk forward, float your right leg up, and then gently step your right foot, hip stance of your left foot, not a sound. Halfway lift, inhale, fold forward, then exhale. Arms are wide, inhale, reverse one dive up, and hands to the center of your heart. Transfer the balance to your right leg, put your left knee. Rotate your left hip open, take your hand, place it where you wish it to be. And then welcome your hands to your heart center. Talk to your right leg, your standing leg. Press your left foot actively into that leg. Put your hips open, carry your arms up, and take your arms so wide apart. And then sweeten that, relax your shoulders. Soften again the edges of your lips. Carry your chest that much higher. What's available for you? Build that. You have your foundation. You can explore, explore and play from there. Bring your gaze forward. Lift your arms up. Bring your hands to your chest. Bring your left knee in. Step it back this time to touch your lunge pose down. Lift your arms up. Complete the circle and lay your hands firmly. Step back, join your toes, there's your plank. Right hand this time stacks below your right shoulder. Everything opens to your left, Vasistasana, side plank pose. Option again, left knee bends, roots, hips lift. Or left leg stays on top of your right leg, feet flexed. Or bend your left knee, build your tree shape, and take your left arm up. Now you choose this and speak to the right hand, speak to the edge of your right foot. 
Speak to the isolation and the draw to the midline of your core, your foundation, your strength. Take one more breath here. Extend your left leg if you're in tree. Release your left hand to your mat. Take your breath. Lower yourself all the way down and touch your mat. Untuck your toes. Bring your fingertips, final time, to the edges of your mat. Play with your shoulders, up and back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale to lower back down. And last time, inhale, rise up. And exhale to lower. Place your palms below your shoulders. Soft tuck of your toes under. Press to your tabletop. From tabletop, cross your ankles. Roll over your feet and onto your seat. So here I would love to scoot your way forward. Take your feet as your anchor point and bring your arms tall for me. Lower yourself back ever so gently and imagine that you have a string wrapped around your heart that's pulling your heart to the ceiling. Now keep that lift. Lift one leg and lift the other leg. You can, if you wish, take your hands behind your knees and bring your knees and your feet to touch. Now here, I would encourage you to feel the isolation in the belly and nothing at all in your hip flexors. So that's your first and your starting point. If that's cool for you, you can now release your hands. Now if your hip flexors start to turn on, place your hands back for that soft support. Lift, soften your shoulders. If this is still okay, extend your legs towards straight. So Navasana. The lift, the torso, no hip flexors, isolated core. Take a breath. Beautiful. Bend your knees. Sneak your hands back underneath. Lift your heart. Allow your feet to gently touch down. Then rise up. Take your time and slowly lower yourself all the way onto your mat. And come to your mat. Extend through the cervical spine. Walk your heels in. And take your hands in line with your heels, but a little different today. Take your hands to the edges of your mat and grab your mat. And I really want you to hold on to your mat. Roll your collarbones open. And then in the action of lifting your shoulder blades from the mat and up into your body, draw length into your tail. And now lift your hips up. Now imagine yourself trying to pull the mat out from underneath you. That's how strong your arms become. And in that strength, you can lift your torso and wiggle the shoulder blades even further underneath you. There's the space we find. Press to the inner lining of your feet. Lengthen your tail. Lift your hips that much higher. We're going to stay and take the breath. Even while you release the grip of your mat and walk your hands underneath, little bridge, Sajubandasana. Maybe you can sneak your palms to a touch point and close one thumb over top of the other. Steady that. A long inhale, a long exhale. Release your hands. Lower yourself all the way down. Roll through a neutral pelvis, meaning there is a soft sliver of space in your low back. And then walk your feet to the edges of your mat. Allow your knees to fall softly in, your arms to open their way out. Take the breath, soften to the energy of your sacrum and the exploration of your back body. Keep your hands, please, exactly as they are. Open your knees, keep your feet to the edges of your mat, and allow both of your knees to fall to your right. From there, if it's comfortable, lift your right foot, lay it on the outside edge of your left thigh. Draw length into your tail first and roll your gaze to your left shoulder. Take your inhale here and your exhale. And one more time. Release your right leg, come back to center, inhaling. Take both of your knees to your left with your exhale. Option to stay or take your left ankle, lay it on top of your right 
And then your gaze can softly turn to your right. Your breath get a little bigger here. And empty. Unwind your left leg. Come back to center. Breath carries you there. Take your time. Extend your legs long. Separate your feet gently wide. And I would love to suggest starfish shape for your Shavasana today. And when we speak to our foundation, when we speak to what gives us that strength, you know, every step we take on our feet, every playful vinyasa on our hands, that we can receive those benefits wholeheartedly and in big time. Release the focus of your breath, please, and fall into the natural rhythm while your body accepts the rest. Slide away. Now, knowing that you have time to stay as long as you like inside this shape. If you'd like to close your practice together, take a few deeper breaths and stir the movement through your fingers, through your toes. Bend your knees and roll to either your left side or your right. And from there, moving very gently, keeping your eyes shut as you rise back up to find your seated position. I welcome you to come back onto your knees and to play around with the energy of your heels a little closer toward each other. Feet untucked and have that seat back down. And welcome your hands to your heart. And whether it is a new practice for you or it is dialing it back a little bit into getting more familiar with our foundation, thank yourself for being here, rolling out your mat, and taking some time together. Namaste. Namaste.